on the main stage. Right now, though, as I mentioned, FIFA 11 Grand Final. I'm just going to have a quick word with our two finalists. Of course, we got a man who usually commentates with me, Mr. Robert Brewster here on my right. Robert, it's been a, has it been a painful two days or an easy two days? Uh, it's been a nice two days for me so far. Not much pain in it, so it's been straightforward, the bracket for me so far. So really, it's been uh, straightforward. It's nice not to be a commentator in the final for a change and playing in it. Good news, good news. Um, of course, Mr. Tom Stokes, here you are, up on the main stage. Are you nervous to have to face uh, Mr. Robert Brewster, or is he just going to be easy pickings? Well, considering I've already lost 2-0 to him in this tournament already, it's going to be quite hard, but we'll see how it goes. Comebacks can happen. We've seen them. We've seen them on the main stage. Thank you very much. Good luck, guys. Now, over to my commentating partners. Usually, as I mentioned, Robert Brewster is up there. I can't go over there because of the microphone feedback. I'm going to stand right here. But yes, <laughs> Winster and Wins are going to guide you through this game. And uh, yeah, let's get this started. Okay, guys, we're looking forward to an exciting final today. We've got a uh, crowd quite quiet at the moment. I'm sure we'll hear the music out there, boys. Oh, massive. Uh, thank you. They'll be dancing soon. Well, Adam, welcome along to the uh, commentary today, replacing your mate, Mr. Brewster. Uh, yeah, looking first forward time. to this for a bit of uh, revenge. Yeah, can get me on back on it for a few things he said, I suppose, in past finals. So, let's see how it goes. Excellent, yeah. It was a, quite a bit of banter in last year's final, so uh, looking forward to it this year. So basically today, Roberts come through the winner's bracket, so he's only got to win one round of best of three, and Tom's got the task of winning two best of three. So uh, looking forward to it. And there we are. Oh, Mike's closer is what you're asking. Come, uh, move it forward there, Robert. Okay, yes, underway here, Chelsea, Real Madrid. Left, I'm guessing Chelsea's uh, Tom. That's a good point. Brewster's Chelsea, isn't it, usually? No, um, Robert Brewster will be Chelsea, and I think Tom's Real Madrid. That's how he's Okay, so right, to, right to left is Tom. Left to right is uh, Mr. Robert Brewster. Uh, kind of play styles. You, you guys, you obviously know these guys. Well, yeah, Tom's quite new to um, man. He's done, he did quarters at I series, and he's done brilliantly today to get to a final. So he's obviously been known online, been a top player. So it's good to see players like him transforming his form to land events like this. So, but he's going to have a tough time beating Rob in two lots of best of three. Yeah, like you say, Tom's done really well. With not the experience of a LAN and uh, come along today. Just had a great win in the losers bracket final. Which I don't, he definitely wasn't the favourite for that at all. Yeah. So done very well. But Bruce has been on fire really all tournament. I think he's proved a few doubters wrong because some people are starting to think maybe he was past it, not how he used to be, but he's proved him wrong today. Sean he's still got it and he's played a brilliant tournament. Obviously, Tom is uh, two games down already. So he's got quite the, uh, the wall to climb. Yeah, no, absolutely. He's got to beat Robert twice and get best of three, so that's a, a mammoth task for him. But yeah. saying, watching his, the loser bracket final a minute ago, you wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, he's but certainly capable of it, but you'd have to have Rob down as a favourite. I mean, he's, I think he's only dropped one game all tournament, and that was against Ty, who's probably the other favourite. Ty's a brilliant player, and um, Rob managed to beat him on penalties 2 1 on game, so that was a great game to watch, and it just shows how well Rob's been playing in the tournament. I mean, Ty, obviously, grand final last event, uh, but he, you know, again, he, he walked into that with a 2-0 advantage. And, uh, yeah, against did, Lewis he, last time, yeah. Which, yeah, against Lewis Orr. Um, we, and that was a very competitive match, considering the disadvantage you're kind of, kind of walking into it at. But, it's an advantage nonetheless. Yeah, and I think Robert's been uh, very confident this weekend. He's been his normal quiet self. During his game. I was going to say, just this weekend. Especially in the final when he won the penalty shootout, you wouldn't have known anything had happened. Here's a chance, Maluda. <laughs> it's quite difficult to finish on positions like that. Normally, you'd look for a cross into a box and hope for a header, but you didn't really have anyone else in the box then. Here comes 
chance for Drogba. Drogba. Oh, oh, Joe. Shanked it. Shanked it. I'm sure we'll start hearing some shouting from the stage in a minute, one way or the other from Rob. As always. So, prediction, Adam, what are you thinking? I've got a back Rob. I mean, obviously, he only has to win one best of three. And with the form he's been in, I mean, Tom's a great player. He's certainly capable of winning the two, but the favourite's got to be Rob. Yeah, I mean, Tom, like you say, got, uh, I think, top four, if not top eight, at the last I series. Yeah, he did well, but got knocked out by Blood, but oh, he's a chance. That's great skill dribbling. Oh, he's missed it. He's failed to kick you in. No. Stokes goes one There it is, one nil. So good, great start from Tom. Yeah, the skill dribbling can be really effective on this game. You get, as soon as you exit out of it, you get a quick burst of acceleration. And if you've got Ronaldo on it, it's just impossible to, unless you read it in that like split second, he's going to be past you. And Tom just showed that there with a goal. Yeah, I heard a lot of people Ronaldo talking again. about it this weekend. Oh, it's going to be 2 0. Oh. oh, it's off the post. It's unlucky. Tom's starting well. Yeah, he must be feeling comfortable already. He's settled down well. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people talking about the skill dribbling and the effect that has on the yeah. sort of lucky bounces and things this weekend. Use that yourself or? Um, well, actually, that sort of knocked me out of the World Championship in LA. Munoz used that very effectively with Ronaldo. I love to use it, but I don't think I'm really as good as it as I could be. Like, yeah. there's some players who are brilliant at it. And if you know what you're doing with it, you can really use it to your advantage. Yeah, certainly with the FIFA 12, we're looking at the whole precision dribbling thing to make a real sort of impact on the game as well. So. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what FIFA 12 is like, because it seems after a few months, every game's had some sort of exploit or bug, which yeah. the best players have tried to exploit, obviously. So hopefully FIFA 12 won't have that and we can just have good games. It would be nice to have a really good game with a really yeah. good online experience because, like you say, FIFA 11 has been a nightmare, really. But it's great to see the FIFA community still yeah, out. Chance for Booster. Oh, straight Ten months FIFA. into the game and they're all here, still moaning about the game, but still <laughs> loving playing yeah. football. So it's it's great be. to see. So Tom's got his 30th minute goal and he's hanging on, creating a chance here. Well defended. Yeah, and Booster's going to find it really hard to score. Because <coughs> the rest. Tom's actually been playing a 5 2 on 2, which he switched to against me actually. And after I'd won the first game, I couldn't break his defence down, to be honest. He really strong with it. And then he won the next two games and knocked me out. So I know how good he is with it. So yeah. Bruce is going to struggle, to be honest. Rob's breaking away. It's going to be interesting to see how Rob approaches that, mate. Get himself back into the game. Just, I think Typical one of his renowned Brewster tackle, tackle, right, yeah. tackle was. It's only a yellow. That's unusual. And this is quite a dangerous position because Stokes is quite good at free kicks. Yeah. Oh, and oh, it's off the bar. Lucky. I think Bruce will just try to keep it tight and probably hit him on the break like he has yeah. been with Drogba and Torres. Maybe look for a few crosses. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be in that change room with Brewster at half time. Yeah. If he, uh, Having a bit of a talking to the Chelsea boys. Let's see what happens. So it was a challenge with the player coming through the loser bracket is, you know, with one game in and winning, but you've got to get another win and then win another set of games as well. Yeah, and that's always going to be so difficult against someone who's in the grand final from the winners bracket. Yeah. I don't think we've seen someone progress through the losers bracket actually and win the grand final. Yeah. Uh, no, ECL a, 1 and ECL 2 uh, won his bracket by uh, 1 yeah that's always a very big ask isn't it but you never know it yeah exactly. the first time. FIFA you never know he's certainly capable of it like we've said yeah Rob's showing us a bit of skill there hasn't really got going Rob this game with his attacking find it hard to break that five defence down that Stokes has like we were talking about before yeah I think mentally it's always difficult when you think oh I've only got to win two games oh it could be a chance and uh, look for a cross there it is Drogba good defending good defending yeah yeah psychologically just thinking you've just got to win the you know one set of games and that's yeah. it yeah good 
defending. Oh, oh he's given a foul. Ref didn't like that. Nor did Robert. Not the best of efforts. Not like he's won before anyway. But if Brewster does end up losing this game, it's not really too big a deal. Like we said, he, he still only needs the two games, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. But to be fair, Tom's got to start somewhere and he's yeah, starting definitely. off well. I think it's important if he is going to win that he does get the first game. It'll give him a lot of confidence and absolutely. maybe let him kick on to any other games. I think in FIFA it's like we saw in the was it the second or third game with Brewster and Ty earlier, where Ty just looked like he was going to tap the ball in for a for yeah. a win. Brewster made an amazing last dash tackle, yeah. saved it on the line, <laughs> and then broke away and got a lucky FIFA goal. Yeah, and just effectively that's what won him the game because at the time the score was one 0 to Ty. So if Ty would have gone two 0 up, you'd think that the game over. But Brewster made a fantastic block. Yeah, it was, and then went on the field and scored. He's actually been defending really well. He's had a lot of situations against Ty as well, where he's like one-on-one -on -one defending the attacker and he's defending them really well, yeah. reading what the attacker's going to be doing. Yeah, no, I've got to be fair, I think it's the best I've seen Robert play this weekend. Yeah, I think he's surprised a lot of people, to be honest. I think he had a lot of success a couple of years ago and then went a little quiet at Lands, but really turned it on this weekend. It's nice to see him doing well again well because I think he was getting a lot of banter by a few people saying he's passed it on this but yeah. he's proved this weekend that he's not. Yeah. Well he's proved this weekend it's only his hair's going his FIFA form's still there so he's yeah, all right. If he wins maybe he'll buy himself some more hair. <laughs> yeah extensions look quite nice as well I think. <laughs> I think he needs to sort out the front of it to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't need to talk to me about that. <laughs> he's not my son. Far too good oh, it's 2 0. Oh, well, <laughs> where did that go. come from? Cross. Yeah, just broke down the left. So that's 2 0 to Tom. Looks like Bruce is changing formation. Yeah, what's he going for? Be interested, uh, he's got 5 3 minutes. 2. Bruce has actually been using man marking, trying to use his wingers to man mark Stoke strikers to kind of isolate him because he's only. He's used for more defensive formation stock, so I think Brewster thought if he could isolate his strikers then he could maybe keep him quiet, but that's not proof of case, so he's editing that now and looking to try something new. Yeah, so he's got to go for it last 20 minutes, see what happens here. Go. We've seen quite a few people come back from 2-0 down this weekend. Yeah. I did it against Stokes, Stokes did it against Ty, so don't rule Brewster out just yet. No, absolutely. Adebayo's in. If Stokes can get that third goal, then you'd think that'd definitely be game over. Absolutely, he's got through him so far. Yeah, using his strength for Adebayo. Oh, oh great fake shot. Oh, oh good save. What's he going to do with this? Offside. Did very well to get through there. I think if he just took an extra few touches there with Adebayo, I think he had the time to, but he took the shot a little bit too early there. Yeah. Still 15 minutes to go for Rob to... Do something always already. I don't think he's decided to uh, take the defeat for this one. I think he's going to try to the end. Yeah, definitely. He won't give up. Next move. Yeah. Wait for that. Strike to get to the back post. I think Stokes has got his tactics spot on. He's just containing Brewster now, looking to see the game out. He's got a, he knows he's got the cushion of a two-goal lead, so yeah. I think he'll just look to see this game out and then kick on with trying to win another. Rob's putting a bit of pressure on here. If he, you know, it's good defending again. Yeah. It's so hard to get past that extra defender that yeah. Stokes has got. Oh, but he's onside here, Drogba. He's got to score. Oh, he's missed it. Good defending. If Brewster was going to come back, you feel that was his chance. Needed to take that one. Yeah, definitely. Door was wide open. Oh, oh nice, nice skill there.
definitely seems to be sort of some sort of reward if you're using those skill moves you get to get that little flick or little bit of possession oh. unlucky great effort skill moves can actually be really effective and it can give you a cutting edge if like in games like this for example when both players are so evenly matched yeah. someone, if you've just got that little bit of class it can often be the difference between winning and losing something to happen in that attack. Oh, that's yeah, I think commonly known as FIFA seen as a Brewster. Yeah, Brewster in the group stage, he was actually drawing 2-2 with Shorzy and in the 85th minute Shorzy were through on goal. Brewster snapped him, got the red card, went up the field and scored the winner on 1-3-2. So, Absolutely. I think he's shown that it works to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think he has got that to uh, Reputation. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, so that's the first game to Tom. Yeah, it looks like one of them are going to be changing tactics because we haven't gone for a straight rematch, so you'd think that one of them are going to change formation around a bit. Yeah. Probably Booster. I doubt Stokes is going to. He no, doesn't need to change anything at the moment, does he? Yeah, st stick with what works. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, but that, it's kind of, you know, that wasn't just a victory, it was pretty solid there. We had one kind of decent opportunity well actually it was a very good opportunity for Bruce to bring himself back into it but by the you know two goal lead put the extra defender back there and yeah, pretty yeah. much just closed the door on him yeah, he did but I think Rob had the first 20 minutes and then Tom scored and that was he just contained in control and he did really really well his lead. So. same time Bruce though shutting down the several opportunities that Tom did have which uh, you know, could play in his favour